Hey guys, Tammy here, and I've got a really exciting milk bank for you today. I'm in St. Louis, Missouri right now, okay? I came up here to uh, film some stuff with my friend Rafe. I was on the Rizzuto show yesterday morning, and I've just been up here having some fun. I thought, you know what? I'm going home today, and my ass is not leaving without Emo's Pizza. If you've never had Emo's Pizza or St. Louis style pizza, you don't know what you're missing out on, okay? But first and foremost, let me tell you about today's sponsor, AdamandEve.com, okay? Do you do everything for everybody else all the time? How about you do something for yourself, okay, for once, okay? AdamandEve.com is offering you guys 50% off almost any one item plus free shipping. Okay? And if, and if you're new around here and you're like, oh, Tammy, what's adamandeve.com have? Okay? They're going to have everything you need to help you bust a nut, baby. Okay? Bust a soft nut. Bust a medium nut. And bust a hard nut. Okay? They got toys uh, for solo stuff. They've got stuff for you and your partner. Okay? I'm talking cream of the crop, baby. They have been in business for decades. They know what they're doing. Okay? And um, use code TAMMY. All right? That's going to get you your discount. Okay? Do something nice for yourself. All right? Now... Emo's Pizza. Here we go. They got a little drive through here. That's nice and convenient. Oh, you got to ring the little bell. Okay. All right, I rung the little bell. And y'all, how you doing? Hi. I got an order for Tammy. And y'all asked some good questions on Instagram. Um, last couple times, um, the questions have been sucking. And y'all been asking some questions on the YouTube comments as well. And I appreciate that, too. I've got an abundance of good questions I'm going to ask and answer right here on my mukbang. I guess they're getting my order. I'm sorry, we're out of the 20 ounce bottles of root beer. Just throw me anything, a Coke, a uh, Dr. Pepper. A Dr. Pepper will do. Thank you. That was a problem. I ordered a root beer and they ain't got no root beer. That's fine. I'll drink anything. I'm really not picky when it comes to soda. You know what I mean? I really drink anything. Just throw anything in there. Yeah. There you Thank go. you. There we go. All right, thank you. You too. Thank you. Bye. Parmesan and red pepper. What's up? Parmesan and red pepper. No, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Have an awesome day. Thanks, you too. Thank you. I've never been a big uh, red pepper or Parmesan on my pizza. Never have been. Now, I like the butter sauce. I like the ranch. I like that stuff. Let's see here. Where am I going to park at? Let me... Let me do a little reverse here. Park right here on the street. <clears throat> this may be a perfect spot. Oh, yeah. Looky there. We got a little tree view. Get the little tree in there. <laughs> All right. Does it look lopsided to y'all? The street's kind of lopsided, and I'm afraid the camera's lopsided too. I don't like the I don't like a lopsided camera. Let me park over here. Sorry, tree. We're busting out of here, man. 
I don't like a lopsided camera. The mukbang production has to be good. The lighting has to be good. Uh, the camera's got to be good. It's got to be good for you guys. Y'all know I take that serious. Yeah, we got emos in the back. That's better. Let's do that. All right. Ooh, damn. Okay. Okay, where do I begin? I'm going to open this little back here. I got a little bit of everything to show y'all. Okay. Here's my little butter sauce. Okay. You can't come to St. Louis and not get toasted raviolis. Okay? So there they are. And it's only a four-hour drive to Nashville. So whatever I don't eat, I'm going to take home to Daryl. Because Daryl's in... Daryl moved, you guys. He's in Nashville. Mmm. Oh, man. This is what I came for. Cinnamon breadsticks. Okay, and these are the best I've ever had. These are truly the best I've ever had. Oh, and they got everywhere. And then I ordered some garlic bread. Never had it here. Let's go ahead and pop off and try a little garlic bread. Whoa! And what makes St. Louis style pizza and Emo's good is the Provo cheese. They don't use regular cheese like other pizza places. They use Provo. Now it's got a little piece of plastic in there. I'm assuming you got to take that off. Oh, we got it in the lot there. So you got your bread and it's garlic butter and Provo cheese. Here we go. Damn that good. Now I don't know what the Provo cheese is. It's not I'm not saying provolone. That's different. This is Provo. I don't know if, if Emo invented it or what or where it came from. But it's different. It's like smoother. Creamier than like mozzarella. Mm. This got to be one of the best garlic cheese breads I've had from any pizza place. Damn. Okay. Let's move on to the pizza. Man, that hit the spot. Shit. Mmm. Okay. Y'all, there's nothing like a really good cheesy garlicky meal with a with a sweet soda. Does that make sense? I'm gonna show you the pizza and then I'm gonna answer a question. Okay. Now, I've only been to Emos three or four times, and every time I come. I always get like a sausage and mushroom. And I thought, you know what? I just want to try their basic pepperoni. There she is. She's got the mushroom or the uh, Provo cheese on her. She's got the pepperoni on her. Let's do a thumbnail. Okay, let's answer a question. And before I get a million questions about this t-shirt, yes, that is me on there. I'm a centaur, okay? You got the bald eagle resting on my shoulder. You got my six-pack there. You got the titties uh, marked out. And I'm on a horse. You're not going to find a more majestic shirt than this. You're just not. You can look. You're going to waste your time. 
okay? And yes, I do sell this on my website, eatmytrash.com. Okay? Holidays are coming up. Get them what they want. Okay. Lots of good questions. Let's start with this one. Tammy, what do you do when your nipples are sore from all the sucking? Well, first off, I'm not going to be a little bitch about it. Okay, you fight through it. You make it work. Okay? There ain't nothing you can do about raw nipples. Nothing. You know, slap some uh, Neil Sporn on there and call it a day. Here's the thing. People let things like that ruin their days. And here's my, here's my thing. I still got a life to live. I still got things to do. I still got videos to put out. I still got, you know, calendars to do photo shoots for. And I'm not going to let something like that or plaque psoriasis ruin my days. I don't even have plaque psoriasis. But if I did, that's what I'm comparing it to. Okay. And they cut them up in little squares. The lighting's pretty good in this mukbang. They cut them up in little squares for you. Okay. Ooh, which one? Which one would y'all get right now? Comment below. Which one would you grab? For me, it's between this one. See it? It's between that one. I normally like the edges. And it's between that one. I'm going to grab that one. Okay. First piece. That's good. <coughs> Damn, that's really good. Mmm. Mmm. They keep it two things. They keep it thin and they keep it crispy. It's that Provo cheese, baby. That's good. I'm going to try it with the garlic butter sauce. I've never had this here. And that was nice of them to wrap it up real good. So it don't spill. Now, I love the garlic butter sauce at Papa John's. But the garlic butter sauce at like um, pizza, I don't like. Um, Domino's is pretty good. So you're hit or miss with the sauces, okay? <clears throat> but here she is. First off the bat, as soon as I open it, garlic, which is a good sign, okay? I'm going to try this piece right here. And I'm just going to dunk in. Can y'all see? And I'm just dunking in. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, if you're a garlic lover, they must make that fresh. That's like a fresh garlic taste. That's fresh. Mm. Mm. Oh, that is good. Damn. Okay. Let's answer another question. Then I'll dig into those toasted raviolis. 
<clears throat> okay. Tammy, a lot of people were asking about this. What's your pre-show meal on tour? Lots of questions about tour. If you didn't know, I'm going on tour. I start, gosh, in like three or four weeks. I'm hitting up everywhere. I'm going to put the, the uh, dates below. Check and see if I'm going to be near you. And your ass better come see me. On tour. People think that you show up to the venue and they got a whole spread of food and all that stuff. You can have that available, but you got to pay for it. And here's what we did. We got me, the, my two friends who opened for me, Libby and Tina, and um, uh, Beth, our tour manager slash merch bitch. So there's four of us. And I was ordering like food to be catered and there'd be so much left over that we couldn't take it with us because we had to go to the next city. We didn't have a fridge, you know, and all this food was going to waste. So honestly, what I do now is when I get to the venue, I hop on Postmates and I see, you know, what's close and I order just something. I, I just say, what are y'all feeling today? You know, and it could be anything. It could be anything, you know, and I'll just order us a little individual meal and it comes to the venue and we load up and then do the show. It's really quite simple. We just live off of, you know, we live off of uh, whatever we can order. I'm telling y'all, I think this is better than the pizza. And the pizza's good. But this is like, I mean, this. That's unbelievable. Jesus. Damn, that's good. All right, let's dip into the toasted raviolis. They come with the sauce. Let's see what we got. Some a marinara. A marinara sauce with it. And you got all your toasted raviolis. And you may be thinking, Tammy, raviolis come boiled or sauteed in a sauce. Not here they don't. They crisp them up in the fryer. And what it's got in it is basically what a ravioli would have in it. Meat. This one has meat and stuff and spices and stuff. I mean, they are incredible. So, there, let me do a tap. You got your ravioli here. Okay. Let's dip her. Let's take her for a swim. Dip her good, too. Don't half-ass it. Dipping her good. That's what's inside of her. Oh my lord, that's good. Emos, sponsor me. Damn. I mean, sponsor my ass. I ain't got nothing but... I, I, I tell you what. If somebody said, Tammy, we'll pay you a million dollars to lie and say emo sucks in one of your mukbangs, and guess what? Guess who's denying the million dollars? Me. I'm not going to lie on food this good. I'm not going to do it. Flavor. Flavor. The flavor is just... And quality. Flavor and quality. You guys might remember about a, oh, it's probably been at least a year, maybe two years. A year or two ago, 
Me and Crystal did an Emo's mukbang. It's on my channel. I wish y'all could be here right, right here with me having a pizza party. I'm not kidding. I wish I could throw a big ass pizza party for me and everyone watching right now and Emo's, and Emo's uh, catered. I wish we were having a big pizza party. Mmm. Usually I like to dip this in a marinara sauce. This don't even need it. I mean. It don't even need it. Okay. Let's answer another question. How's the food? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, one of the best mukbangs, mukbang foods I've had in a long time. Without a doubt. <clears throat> okay. Tammy, did anybody ever bully you for having uneven tits? Uh, no. They're too busy sucking on them. <laughs> Who's going to make fun of these things? Who in the right mind is going to make fun of these things? Have you seen my calendar? <laughs> Here's the thing. Uneven tits are superior tits. And let me tell you why. When you're on top... And you got your tits hanging in his face. Guess what? He's got one that's going to be closest to him that he's sucking on. Okay? And he's going to have to reach up for the other one. And this is a completely different tit. It's a different size, circumference. It's lifted higher, so it's a, a different area for him to go. And that's like being with two women at once. That's what guys want. So you got the best of both worlds being with someone that has saggy, uneven tits. Two different, two different sets of tits on one. And that's what people want. That's what people dream about. He's sitting here, you know, sucking on the lower one and he's going to town and when he wants something different, when he's like, okay, I'm done with that one. Guess what? Completely brand new tit to go to. He don't have two of the same ones hanging in his face. That's boring. He's got something exciting. So no, nobody's ever made fun. Nobody. No. I don't think so. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Oh, I don't know what I want next. Oh, I want that garlic bread. I want, I'm sorry, y'all. This right here, and I know y'all want me to try it in the marinara sauce, so I'm going to try it for you. It don't need it. It don't need it, that's for sure. And it damn sure don't need any more garlic, but I'm going to try both for you. Ooh, Daryl's going to love these leftovers. Daryl's going to love these leftovers. Okay, there's the marinara for my toasted ravioli. I'm going to dip that in there. There you go. Where'd that go? Damn it! You You got on my majestic t-shirt. Alright, well let me go ahead and do the bite. Okay. Alright. Damn, I ain't got no napkins. They didn't give me none.
ruined my fancy t-shirt. Okay, the sauce did not add value to it. The sauce was good, but not, I'm not <laughs> throbbing over it. I'm gonna try the, with the garlic butter. Here we go. I like it with the garlic butter more, but I never saw I never thought I'd say this in my life. It's almost too much garlic because they don't skimp. They don't skimp. Mmm. Why have I never ordered this before? I mean. And I just love St. Louis, y'all. If y'all have never been to St. Louis, you're truly missing out. I love the people here are awesome. The food's good. We just did a um, topless ice cream mukbang. At, there's like a famous ice cream place here that Dairy Queen, Dairy Queen whip, ripped off back in the day called like Ted, Ted something ice cream. We did a topless ice cream mukbang yesterday for my Patreon. It was the best ice cream I've ever had in my life. And I'm not even kidding you. The food here is good. The old buildings are beautiful. Oh, I just love St. Louis. I just love St. Louis. Some of the best stand-up shows we've ever done. Inter uh, crowd energy-wise, St. Louis. Oh, I love it here. Mmm. Honestly, I can just come and get that bread. Hm. And my cinnamon sticks and be good. And be good. That's for sure. Let's do... Let's do another question and then we'll have another slice of pizza. <clears throat> Tammy, would you rather have rubbery and stretchy tits or a rubbery and stretchy clit? I kind of already do have stretchy tits in a way, and that kind of goes back to what I was saying earlier about the different, you know, the, the different. That kind of goes back, you know, if it were up to me, I'd probably pick stretchy and rubbery tits just because you can do more with them. Um, you know, like in terms of like slapping people with them and stuff, you can do more. But I bet, you know, Daryl would probably, probably pick stretchy and rubbery clit because that gives them something to play with down there. Because I don't have a lot of meat down there, you know, like flap wise. I just don't. I have a big, I have a big fupa, but when it comes to the innards, there's not a whole lot to play with. And he's always complained about that. So I think if I had like a, if I had a clit that really stretched out and was rubbery, he, that'd give him something to play with while he's down there. So he'd probably pick that. That was probably a question for Daryl, to be honest with you. But it don't matter to me. You know, whatever makes my baby happy, to be honest with you. All right. Let's dig into another little slice of pizza here. Let's try a middle piece that's got lots of cheese on it. Which one would y'all pick? That one looks good. That one and this one are looking good to me. Let's go with this one right here. Come on, there you go. And she's just a little square. She's just a little square, you know. She's not a big slice, she's little. Okay, let me give her a tap. Amazing. 
Get out of If you've been craving pizza and you ain't got an emos by you, this is your sign. Order pizza or not. Because it's hitting the spot. And sometimes you just need a pizza. You know? Last time I was here, I ordered these little cinnamon sticks. And they were with that. I'm burning up, y'all. Damn. I'm burning up. I keep, like, wipe, wiping my sweat. But then I, if I turn the air up, it makes me, like, it's making me tear up. So, it's like, what was I saying? Last time I was here, I had those, I ordered those cinnamon sticks. It was blown away. I mean, they were the best I've ever had. So we'll see if they hold up to par today. And they're just basically little breads. And then they've got just like a cinnamon glaze on them. Okay. And they're warm. Oh my God. And look at all that sauce. You see that sauce? Oh, ready? Damn, these are good. Damn, they're better than I. They're better than I remember. They're soft. They're warm. You have your glaze that's cinnamony. Got a little crisp to them. I mean, these are truly some of the best little little desserts I've ever had. And this sauce is just what's at the bottom. That's what's dripped off of them. Mmm. Mmm. Damn. Mm. Yep. That's what's up. Wow. I can't eat anymore. Oh, I'm stuffed to the max. Mmm. Hey, I want to thank y'all for watching my mukbangs. You know, I really appreciate the love and the support. And just for supporting my channel and giving me questions and giving me, you know, suggestions on where I should eat next and do the mukbang, you know, where should I mukbang next. I really appreciate you guys. Because I would not be the mukbang queen without you. And that's the truth. Without you, I'd be sitting here by myself. And there'd be no point. So I really appreciate you guys. Come see me on tour. Eatmytrash.com. I'm going to put all the links down below. Go click them. And uh, I'll see you on the next mukbang, all right? Love you. Bye.